Hello, vlog miss day 10. 10? Double digits. I can't believe how quickly the zebra has gone. I'm not sure if it's because I'm filming every day or it's just going quick, but vlogmas seems to be going so quick. December seems to be zooming by and all of a sudden I'm about to go away on holiday and I've got nothing packed. This is where this comes in. My whole floor down here is covered in what I'd call an organised mess. <laughs> so I am going to do a little pack with me for Disney. We're going off to Disneyland Paris for a few days and I am so so excited. We've never been to Disneyland Paris for Christmas season before. Christmas is my favourite time of year. Never been to Disney for Christmas and Disney and Christmas are like my two favourite things. Mix them together. Disney at Christmas. I am so excited and I'm so excited but got nothing packed. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of like a little pack with me, what to pack. I don't know, maybe it would help some of you. I've never been to Disney at Christmas before, as I said, but I have been to Disney um, before, not at Christmas. So I'm gonna kind of give you a little kind of um, what to pack, what you might wanna bring, that sort of thing. So you kind of get an idea and maybe you remembered something you've forgotten. If I've remembered something I've forgotten, you can let me know, but it'll be too late because I've already gone. <laughs> but hopefully I've not forgotten anything. I've written out a little list. Here's my list. Um, hopefully I've remembered everything I think I have. If not, oh well. <laughs> so let's get into the video. So we are driving to Disneyland Paris this time, which is really exciting. I'm kind of the most excited because I can bring back a lot of souvenirs. I don't have to specifically fit them into my luggage. I can just shove it on the floor, in the boot, <laughs> just wherever I can squeeze it in and it fits. And it also means oops, I can bring a lot of snacks with me. So I've got a load of snacks to take with me because snacks from Disney are so expensive. So I've packed a load of snacks, which is handy. And then I can bring souvenirs back on the way home. And it's not just Disney souvenirs. I mean, Disney souvenirs are what like I'm looking forward to bringing home because I'm going to Disney. But there's also these specific crisps that you get in France. I can't remember what they're called, but they're in like a cardboard box. It's like a red, a red cardboard box. And they're like kind of, I don't know, it's crisps in a red cardboard box. They are my absolute favorite crisps in France. And so I'm kind of planning to bring back maybe like 10. <laughs> I might try and squeeze in 10 boxes of France crisps in the car because I don't have to fit them in my luggage. So as well as the Disney, there might be a lot of snacks coming home. So my luggage wise, as I said, I don't really have to be too particular about it because I can just shove it where it fits in the car. But I've got this little case. I got this from Shop Disney a while ago. I've had it for a while. Um, it's just got Mickey and Minnie and like a kind of tropical print on there. And it's just one of those little mini cabin size suitcases. And then also I've got this, which is kind of, this is by Collective. And it's just like a bag, like a, it's kind of solid, like a solid kind of big bag. <laughs> so with these two together, it should be more than fine enough to bring. This is what I'd kind of bring with me when I'm not bringing the car, kind of a little luggage and a big kind of bag. So it'll be fine. And we're gonna fit all of this in here now. I love packing itself, but organizing and making sure I've remembered everything has kind of stressed me out. <laughs> like I'm like, have I got everything? Is this everything in a kind of, I've made organized, it doesn't look very organized, but sections. <laughs> So I'm bringing along a couple of bags. This is gonna be my main bag that I'm gonna take with me. It is a lounge fly bag. I've never used it before. I got it, um, it's brand new. It's still got the tags on it, but I got it from someone selling it secondhand. So it's like secondhand, but new. So I got it a bit cheaper, but it's really cute. It's this little up backpack. I've been waiting to use it for this trip. It's a really nice little size. And then also, I mean, look at it inside as well. It's got balloon print. But then inside, I have the little matching purse as well. I've got the little house and balloons. And it's got card bits in there. And then like a little a little zip, so that's handy. So this is going to be my kind of day-to-day -day park bag. This is what I'm going to use 
like every single day. It's a nice size and can fit things in it. But then I feel comfortable um, wearing like a backpack around Disney. Um, oh, and also it has this little, um, this is really handy. It has this little zip on the back that goes against your back. So you could like keep your money in that bit. Um, but I'm not too worried about like theft and things like that in Disney. I know it happens, but... I've never had it happen, and in Disney you feel quite safe, it's quite, um, I don't know, I know it happens, but Disney feels kind of safer, there's a lot of security, there's a lot of people, and I'm like with my family, so they'll kind of notice and keep an eye out for each other, so having a backpack on me, I've never had an issue with, it seems fine, um, but we are going to the French mall called Val de Europe, and there I don't feel safe wearing a backpack. <laughs> I've been there before and I've got uh, got a glance of a couple of suspicious looking people kind of lurking around people's bags and so that's kind of made me a bit like unwary. So I bring in this little one as well which is by Lisa Angel and it's just CL for Chloe Louise. Um, it's really small, it won't fit a lot in it but it will fit in my phone and my purse and th that's about it. That's all I really need to take to the mall. And then that can just like go over the front of me and I can keep it right here. So I can keep a constant hand on it. Because Disney, as I said, I don't mind it being on my back. I can shove a load of things in. I mean, it's not even important things. It's like, I don't know, a portable charger and like wet wipes and soap and stuff. Um, yeah, don't have an issue with it in, in Disney. In the mall, however, I like to keep the bag in front of me and not on my back. Because I have seen a couple of suspicious looking people that was lingering around and then in this one I've just got this little calf kids in purse because the other one wouldn't fit in my bag <laughs> as for outfits I've tried to kind of pack light I don't like to overpack because if I overpack I get stressed in the mornings because I'm like oh I've got so many different outfit options what do I wear and it kind of stresses me out figuring out what to wear every morning so I kind of planning I pre-plan an outfit what to wear every day and then that's all I pack that's it so my first outfit I'll show you I've got an outfit for every day I think because we're only going for about four days four three full days and like kind of two half days or one half day because I don't think we're going in on the last day but this is a jumper that I show you in a vlog the other day by Primark just this nice white cable knit jumper this is going to keep me warm i've been seeing a lot of um disneyland vlogs in the past few days and it's been absolutely freezing and i get i get cold all the time so my aim is to wrap warm so a really nice warm jumper and then i've got this skirt to go with it which is by collective it is navy with these really sparkly little silver fireworks or stars um, we're not going to see like the fireworks and like the, the late night time stuff um, every day. I think we're just going to do it one day. So this is going to kind of be my when we're going to see the like the nighttime parade and stuff in the dark and like kind of do a bit more nighttimey stuff. This is going to be my nighttimey outfit. Nice sparkly skirt with the little white top. I think that look really cute and it kind of sparkle in the lights. And then to go with that, I've got this little headband. Can't remember who this is by. It's by a small business. Um, it's little navy with like little, little, they're not real pearls, but like beads. They're beads. So these will look really cute. Another outfit I have is this dress. This is new this year. I got this from Tesco's for £15. And it's really cute. It's just like a little black long sleeve dress long sleeves keep me warm it's um kind of like um not midi but not short so it's a nice length it's got christmas mickey minis on it and fairy lights perfect for the christmas season at disney and then because it's quite it's quite loose and loose things tend to like kind of drown me a little bit so i've got this little belt um who's this by i think it's by band retro or something it's this big red bow belt so i'm just gonna put that on there like that kind of cinching the waist and it also kind of looks cute and Christmassy and then to go with that is my little white not white red <laughs> my red bobble hat that my nanny made me from um 
the vlog if you saw that one. I think it was day three. So this is gonna be my cute little outfit. Another outfit, I've got black skinny jeans. Tried them on, not done up the zipper. Um, and then I've got this white kind of turtleneck, but it's kind of a li little bit more fitted. And then, oh, I love this cardigan. This is the cardigan that I got from Primark. It's the red Christmassy one, look. It's got Christmas Mickey Minis on it. It's a really nice fit cardigan. So that should look really cute. Black jeans, um, black jeans, and this red cardigan look cute, keep me warm. And then I have this little cute bow that I got from Accessorize. It's a little hair clip, and I thought that would look nice with the little, with the little cardigan in my hair. So that's another one. Then I've got these denim, denim skinny jeans, denim coloured skinny jeans, and then we've got this jumper on. Um, this is by, oh gosh, who is this by? I can't remember. It's by a small business, uh, Lottie's Label. And it's this cute little white jumper with the little Mickey embroidered fairy lights on it. And then this hat. This is an old shop Disney hat. And I'm really kind of disappointed about this. It's a really cute little Mickey reindeer hat. But look, the fairy lights, these used to um, light up and like sparkle like red, green and blue and stuff. Like the hat used to light up. But if the light broke, like the wires like came out. Look. The wires came out and lost the switch and now it doesn't light up anymore. But <laughs> I can still be a Mickey reindeer. Just doesn't light up. But uh, that's going to look so cute. <laughs> Here's my uh, Christmas outfit. And then we're not going to, um, as I said, we've only got three full days and kind of um, two half days or one half day. So just for traveling and things, I've got this little cute jumper. This was originally by H&M, I think, but um, mum bought it for me on Vinted as a present. And it's a cute little gray jumper with a Mickey on it. So that's really cute as well. Other clothing items I've got is a long sleeve white t-shirt, which is gonna be under two different things. So I've got a white long sleeve t-shirt, Again, I'm just trying to think of things that are going to keep me warm. So I've got that. I've got this little white. This is meant to be thermal. I think this is like a summer one though. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like a proper thermal one. It's kind of one of those lightweight summertime kind of ones. But it's an extra layer. It will help. That's just a white vest. This is just a basic white vest as well. Layering, keeping me warm. Got a face mask. I don't know if you need face masks anywhere anymore, but got one just in case I do need one. And then I bought these. Bought these in M&S. They're, they're meant to be shaping shorts, but I didn't buy them for shaping shorts. I bought them just for shorts. They're these little, um, they're, what are they called? They are called seamless um, short light control shorts. They're meant to be kind of shaping wear. But I bought them for when I wear my dresses and skirts and stuff. If the wind blows, don't want people seeing my knickers. So I've got these shorts, not for shaping, but to cover up my knickers. <laughs> and extra layer to keep me warm. These are a size 8 to 10. I'm a size 4 to 6, but these fit really well. I think this is the smallest size they came in. But if you're a 6 um, and you get the small 8 to 10 in these, it does fit a 6. So that's good. I've got this belt to wear with my jeans. It's I got it from Asda. It's just a black belt with a little gold Minnie Mouse on it. I've got my Disney pyjamas. And Little Oakley has got the same ones. I bought us matching pyjamas last year. And luckily, he still fits them. And I obviously still fit mine. So, we've got our cute little matching Disney pyjamas that They're just kind of red with their Disney characters and fairy lights. Long sleeve top, long sleeve bottoms. Perfect. So that's those. And also from Primark, I got these. I also got Oakley some um, Disney slippers. They're slightly different, but they kind of match. Little Mickey slippers, because I don't like walking barefoot in the hotels. I don't know, just came, seems kind of dirty and I don't want to keep putting on my shoes. So slippers. And because they're not like full on boot slippers, my ankles will get cold. <laughs> so I've got these little Mickey fix socks. I've had these for ages. Can't remember where they're from but I like them. 
then I've got some gloves see I've got three pairs of gloves I don't think I need three but they all kind of are for different things so these are my cream mittens I'm gonna be vlogging I'm gonna try and continue doing my vlogmas even when I'm at Disney I'm gonna hopefully have time to do it when I come back to the hotel at night so hopefully vlogmas will continue for the Disney if not it'll just be a bit delayed um but I'm gonna be doing vlogging I do it on my phone because I don't have a camera at the moment so I need to keep touching the screen of my phone so I can't wear full-on gloves mittens so I can kind of like keep keeping my fingers warm and then these ones I bought these because they're meant to be touch screen gloves not sure if they work but we'll see these are by H&M they're just black and they're meant to be touch screen but it's got these little things on it but I don't know if they are so hopefully they are that'll be nice and then these are like when I'm just cold really cold <laughs> these are my big thick gloves they're not even that thick but nice black gloves a nice fluffy fluffy trim this isn't real anima or anything just faux fur it's nice and soft lots of gloves I'm also taking um some coats and scarves and things but they're downstairs so just imagine you have my coats and scarves here and then I have my socks I have two my two thick pairs of socks to keep my feet really nice and warm in my boots. I've also got these little socks with a Donald and a Daisy on it. Just white ones and just a couple of other pairs of white socks just in case. And then I bought these. These are like the thickest pair of tights I could find. Because I only own like, what is it, like 40 denier? Is that how you say it? Tights? Basically really thin black tights. And I've got a dress and a skirt here for my outfits and I've been hearing it's freezing cold and I don't want to freeze so I bought these these are 100 denier if that's how you say it but basically they are just really thick these are just really thick black tights I got these from M&S it was six pounds for one which is kind of more than I'd pay for tights but they were so thick and felt really warm so I it's going to be worth it. I'm going to thank myself for buying these when I'm wearing that skirt in the freezing cold. So really, really thick tights. They kind of almost feel thicker than leggings. Like, they're nice. Then in here, I've got my underwear. Not going to show you my underwear. Don't want anyone seeing that. Um, but in this bag, I think this is from Primark. And then just knickers, bras, that sort of thing. In there, I've got a hairdryer and a straightener. The hotel hairdryers just, I kind of think they're a bit dirty, but also they never seem as powerful, so I bring my own and my hair straightener in case I want to do curls. It doesn't really make sense, a straightener for curls, but hopefully you know what I mean. Then I've got a towel because I don't like using hotel towels because I kind of think, I know they're clean and I know they're washed, but at the same time, someone's used it to dry their private parts and then... I want to dry my, dry my face and even though it's clean I'm just not keen on it <laughs> so I bring my own and then I've got um a face cloth uh well I've got two I was meant to buy one of those poof things but I forgot so I've got a makeup removing cloth and this I'm just going to use in the shower it'll do now we come to the very miscellaneous section there is just <laughs> chaos <laughs> organized chaos so i've got a couple of these these are just like multi-plug um multi-plug plug things just because i gotta charge a lot of stuff and i don't have that many adapters i only have this this one and this one so adapters as well remember your adapters if you're not from europe if you're from the uk remember your adapters i've got a portable charger this is so handy especially if you're taking a lot of photos videos always bring a portable charger i got this one on amazon haven't tried it out yet but i'm hoping it's good it's got a cute little paw print on it i've got my gopro so i can film on rides and a little wrist strap that i bought on amazon nice uh -oh. i've got this mini tripod i'm also bringing my bigger tripod but you're standing on it at the minute but i thought this one would be handy to bring around as well because the legs bend so i can kind of put it on like a fence or something and just like quickly kind of grab a picture or something i don't know it takes up less room as well so mini tripod i've got a couple of fans 
and I know it's winter, but if I get anxious, I go really, really, really hot, even if it's freezing cold. So a fan is always good. And you never know how warm the hotel is going to be. It could be freezing. It could be warm. So I've got some fans. This is a phone charger. I got this in, in the Boots Christmas sale last year. Let me try and show you though. Um, it lights up. Are you ready? Let me try and show you. Look. <laughs> so my portable charger can have fairy lights on it. This is a bag that I've had for absolutely years. It's an old Primark one, but I like it because it has um, little kind of waterproof things inside. So I always keep all my toiletries in here, which brings me on to shower gel. This is a huge shower gel. I don't need all this, but mum and Oakley can share it and stuff as well. Just one big one. This is popcorn scented and it smells amazing. This is my shampoo. There's about half left in here. Again, I won't use it all, but I can just bring it home because I'm in the car. It's Herbal Essences Sulfate Free. This one. I buy that one because I heard sulfate free shampoo was good for your hair. So I'm trying it and I kind of like it. I've got a little bit of hairspray in case I curl my hair. I've got a deodorant. My deodorant of choice is this one. I think it's called like Mitchum or something. Mitchum. It's, um, it's like a stick. Let me try and show you. It's like a cream bar stick thing. And I really like it. And it smells really good. It's like coconut and vanilla. Then I've got this. I don't know if I'll end up using this or not. But I've had this for a little while. It's Fairy Dust by Lush. And it's like pink, glittery, sparkly dust. You just kind of rub it in and it makes you sparkly. Got some cotton buds just in case. I've got some emergency tooth filling stuff because if you've seen my previous vlogs, you know I'm having a bit of tooth trouble at the moment. So handy, just in case the temporary one falls out. And then I've got my medication, just in case I get a tooth infection again. Got that just in case. This bag I got from Tiger and I just use it to put my dirty laundry in basically because then you can shove it in the washing machine when you get home. It's a cute little bunny. And it's just easy to carry something like that because I've got my new ones in here. And then once you use them, in here. Easy peasy. Gives you somewhere to put them as well. Yeah. I've got a hairbrush. I can't remember where I bought this, but I like um, I like it. It's like a wooden one, so that's nice. I've got a nail file. I've got some nail varnish, just in case my nail's chipped. I do need to do this again before I go because it has chipped a little bit. And I want my nails to look nice for Disney. I've got this um, cream for my bad eczema on my hands. I've also just got this little hand cream as well. This is in Pumpkin Latte. This is an old Bath and Body Works one. I've got some lip balms. I've got a Vaseline and just this like little lip balmy one. I've got a packet of tissues with a giraffe on it. I've got a perfume. This is just my little one that I like to use. It's an apple. Um, I can't remember which one it is, but a nice one. I've got a sun cream. <laughs> I know it's not going to be very sunny, but just in case I get dry skin on my face, I like to put on a little bit of sun cream. Um, I've got a blush. And then I've just got um, this mascara, um, a concealer, just in case I get a spot. And then some lipstick colours. So I've got, this is the one I'm using most at the minute, but I've lost the other end. Um, I've got this pinky one and then a red in case I'm feeling adventurous. Then I've got some bobby pins, a scrunchie and some hair bubbles. This is a little bag. I got this as a present, so I'm not sure where it's from. But it's a cute little Mickey mini bag that I put all kind of this miscellaneous stuff in it. Makeup and bobby pins and whatnot. I've got a couple bits of jewellery. I got these from Disney World when I went years ago for Christmas. I got this little beaded Mickey one and this little bell one. And it jangles. I've got some sunglasses in case it's sunny when I'm driving. This is what I look like. <laughs> then I've got some blue light glasses. So when I'm doing a lot of editing on my laptop and things, I can put these on and block out the blue light. Or well, that's what they're designed to do anyway. Um, then for earrings, I'm taking these ones, which are little snowflakes, which I got from Accessorize. And then I got these ones from, how do you say it? La Visa, La Visa, that kind of shop. And it's these little red sparkly ones. I thought they were nice and sparkly for Christmas. And then these little sparkly blue ones, which would be nice with that firework skirt. So they're those. Then I'm taking this little necklace, which has, I got a present for a few years ago. 
it's just a little sparkly snowflake. Then this, I can't remember where I got it from. I've had it for years, but it's a little hard case. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a contact lens case or something, but I use it to put my jewellery in. I can just pop my little earrings in there and things and keep them organised so I don't lose them. Then I've got my euros. I've got a few euros in cash, my bank cards and passport. No, passport's not in here. Passport's here in my nice little stained glass Disney passport cover. This is some change of euros that we got from our last trip and I'm keeping it in here ready for like tolls and things. When we drive there might be like tolls. Always good to have change of euros in tolls. Then I've got my little passes for Disney. I've got my annual pass and my photo pass. This is a little holder from Lisa Angel. It's quite cute, little stars and that. And that's to keep in my hotel information documents. Haven't printed them out yet. I need to do that and put them in there. I've got a couple of locks just for my bag and my suitcase and that to leave in the hotel. I know it's probably safe, but just in case. I've got a Mickey one and this little proper one. I've got this little Mickey ring selfie light for my phone so I can take pictures at the night time. And this is from B&M. This is an emergency. This I usually keep in my car, um, but I'm just gonna show you what's in it. It's kind of like my emergency car kit, but as we're driving, it's coming with me anyway. But I'm just going to kind of tell you I've got plasters, wet wipes, paracetamol, ibuprofen, um, aspirins, hair wobbles, just like emergency things like uh, fruit sweets, just things like that. That's all in here just in case. And then things that I haven't shown that you might want to remember is toothpaste and toothbrushes and charges, phone charger, my laptop, my laptop charger little adapters that are easy to forget this is for my gopro so i can put that on my laptop um and i think that is it and shoes shoes coats and that's it and snacks so that is everything that i'm going to pack now let's pack it <laughs> most of it packed got all the stuff in here here and then just got my backpack and a few things i need for the morning um but besides that it's all done so that is the end for vlogmas day 10 and i will see you for vlogmas day 11 tomorrow